Welcome to our St. Mary's Gales postgame Professor B's corner. The, the St. Mary's Gales were able to bounce back after two tough losses, salvaging the third and final important game of this three-game series here in Moraga Sunday afternoon by a score of 15-4. to The Gales scored five or seven times, seven unanswered runs, or actually eight unanswered runs in the first four innings. And they hit four more home runs, one by Bill Ralston. And then it was um, Christian Almanza hits his 13th home run of the of the season. He his second in the series. Then it was um, the, uh, or the Dalton Mayshore. And then Cody, the flying Hawaiian Kashimoto, hit his first homer of the season. I believe that was his first career collegiate home run as – so it was a great day out, but our, our, our player of the game and our guest on the on the Professor B's corner is the freshman left-handed Garrett Pilata, four and one-thirds innings. He ended up giving up one hit, two earned runs, walked three with a pair of strikeouts. He's our player of the game. So your thoughts on today's game, but Garrett? Uh, I thought it was good. Um, the bats were really alive, so that really helped me, you know, just – it gave me some room to breathe a little bit, especially after the first. Um, so I was just it's allowed me just to get in the rhythm and just keep rolling. Uh, tell me, you know, you um, came in there, you know, uh, you know, you know, this was your first your first start, mm-hmm. first ever collegiate start, and uh, you just uh, went after the hitters, and you know, you just had some of your best pitches. Yeah, I mean, it felt good today. My fastball and curveball felt good. Um, felt like I was like locating my pitches, and I was just pounding strikes. Yeah, and uh, this is a, a important win because now you guys, um, you're now, are, you know, as we're getting towards the, 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 the this the last weekend of the second to last weekend of April, getting down towards that stretch drive because uh, after after as of this as a Sunday ended, we only have like what three conference series left, and. Um, and where you want guys want to be playing your best baseball at the right time. Yeah, I know. I feel like we're kind of peaking right now. Um, the bats are coming alive. Pitching is doing well. I think this is you know, right now we're really doing well. Well, do you think you're going to um, hopefully you're gonna try to get another start before or two before the season's over? Do you think you, you probably, in your opinion, think you deserve it? You earned a spot in the rotation? I mean, that's up to the coaches. But, yeah, I think I did well today. Um, I think you – it's a good day. I think it's a good day for everyone. To be and I got a little present for you. This is your first collegiate win. Oh, yeah, you, this me. is your, your your first collegiate win. Just uh, um, your first collegiate win, and uh, against LMU, you look at the final totals of the game. But you had, you had uh, two strikeouts and four one third innings of work. So you know you that's something you get to put in your medal. Yeah, that'd be cool. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, Garrett, congratulations. Thank you. All right. That is Garrett. That's Garrett Plod, our our star of the game today for the Gales. Gales win it. They salvage the final game of the three game series, 14 to 5. 14 runs, 17 hits, no errors for the Gales. For the Lions, five runs, eight hits, no errors. The win goes to Pilata. Pilata, his record is 1 0, his first ever collegiate win. In Division One baseball, Owen Hackman is the loser. His record falls at two and three. Homers in the contest: Ralston uh, had a multi-homer game. Almanza, Mayshore, Kimono hit his first, and uh, also uh, for the Gales, it was uh, Dia Kinla uh, also homer for the Lions. Time of the ball game was two hours, 49 minutes. With the win, the Gales improved to 10-8 and West Coast Conference play, 16-19 and overall. They um, end up uh, now have won the – end up uh, – have won five of their last – or four, four of the last six conference games so far up this point. So the Gales will be back in action Tuesday. They'll travel down, take on – in Bakersfield, take on the Cal State – Road, Roadrunners for a midweek series. Then they're right back at it next weekend, next on Friday, to take on the university as they travel to head west to the take on the University of San Francisco Dons on the hilltop known as the Battle of the Bay for a three game series. That will be um, Friday and Saturday at 1 p.m. Then 
uh, next Sunday at 12 noon. That will be on SMC Gales Network on the WCC Sports Network as Pat Olson will give you the play-by-play in action. And Tuesday night's mid non-conference midweek game will be at 6 p.m. as well. Latest news on Gales Athletics, go to smcgales.com. For now, I'm Brad Professor B. Davis. Thank you for watching the Professor B's post-game corner. And the Gales were winners by a score of 14-5. to Thank you for watching St. Mary's Gales post-game Professor B's Corner on SMC TV.